Good morning from the 16th park of our Europe theme park road trip. Today we're here at Wallaby, Belgium for our first visit in a couple of years. Whilst we're here, we're also going to be checking out their Halloween event. So Halloween is included in your entry ticket, but if you want to do any extras like the mazes, they are an additional charge. Yes, yeah, so we've got the scare zones to see tonight, the park's open until 10 o'clock, and of course lots of on-ride POVs coming up. Really excited to get back on Condo. It's been a couple of years since we did it, so yeah, we're excited for that. Yeah, we're really looking forward to it. We decided to say thank you to the park for providing us with our mission today. Come and join us here at Wallaby, Belgium. And of course, you're probably used to this already, this trip, where we've got lots of pumpkins and lots of corn out throughout the park. Yeah, hours are 10 a.m. till 10 p.m., so we've got 12 hours to get lots of rides in and make the most of it. With it being Halloween, it is going to be busy. However, really excited to see another Halloween event. And yeah, we've already got the smoke. I saw some flame effects down here. And yeah, it looks like we've got a great setup with the scare zones tonight, too. So walking down here towards Exotic World, we've actually just walked through lots of the Halloween scare zones that are going to be opening from 5pm and the theming looks really good. So we're excited to take you to all these scare zones and experience some of the scare mazes later on as well. Yeah, we're going to be starting off, of course, getting on some rides, heading up here into Exotic World, making our way down to Conda. Yeah, you've got Tiki Waka just above us here as well, the Gerstar Bobsled Coaster. This is great fun and yeah, I love all the theming. And yeah, of course, Conda's just down here at the back of the park, off to the right. Oh, look at this theme in the big grand entrance reveal as you make your way up here towards Conda. And there it is, Intamin Mega Coaster that opened in 2021. And yeah, it's advertised on a 35 minute wait. So yeah, of course, with it being Halloween, it's going to be busier than when we normally come on an off peak day. However, that's why we wanted this trip to come and see some different Halloween events at the spooky time of year. And like I said, we're going to be able to take you on. Even the chest mounted GoPro, look at that, really excited. Let's give this another go. The station is gorgeous as well. Look at all this round here. Let's go, 35 minute wait. Well, I've got to say, operations are really good so far. They are getting the trains hammered out here on Conda. And yeah, I love the queue lines. You get some awesome views looking out over the coaster. It's not like a big cattle pen hidden away, like the queue line goes round beneath it. Oh, the atmosphere in this station, I love it. Right, we're here on the front row, and yeah, we've waited 35 minutes as advertised. Yeah, look at all the theme here, it's very immersive with the music when it dispatches as well. And we've got a dispatch. Yeah, really good solid operations on here this morning. Very impressed. And yeah, I'm glad they're letting you wait for the row now. If you want to go to the front or wait for the back, you can do. Remember us saying that last time. They weren't really letting people wait, but yeah, it's nice now. Uh, you can do. What a great view. Looking over the coast around the park. I remember saying last time this warmed up a lot throughout the day. So we'll definitely get on here, hopefully, at night. Here we go. Whee! Woo! Oh! Woo Push them into that hill. Oh! Our bank air time. Woo! for a front row morning ride, I'll tell you that. Woo! Really smooth. Way! Oh, that air time. <laughs> Woo! Here we go. Way! Woo! Oh, wow! Oh, God, that was riding amazing. Like, that's probably the best ride I've ever had on it. Oh. It's so good. Oh, really smooth, but the air tire and them hills, oh, that was incredible. Really good. Can't wait to see how that warms up later in the day. That's the thing with these coasters, they warm up really nice. 
Well, that front row ride on Condo was incredible. And yeah, good timing as well. I just started throwing it down. I know, but for a morning ride, that was running so well. I can't wait to get back on there later. I remember us saying last time we came, we were a little bit disappointed with our morning ride. It felt a bit slow. That certainly didn't this time. It's worn up really nice over the past couple of years. And that's why sometimes it's better waiting uh, for these coaches a couple of years, because they do actually warm up really well. Uh, they bed in more, don't they? That was great. The coach itself is 164 foot tall. You got an awesome first drop lots of other great elements on there and the airtime was great today oh, wasn't got it? some cracking airtime especially for a front row ride yeah and them hills down towards the end of the layout we were being pushed up into them uh, which was really good top speed of 70 miles an hour on there as well but yeah that was great i definitely want a night ride on there tonight after that awesome coaster ride to start our day, we're now gonna head on to a dark ride here. And this is Challenge of Tutankhamun. This is the best dark ride here at the park. And it's only on 20 minutes right down here at the back. Yeah, if you're coming to parks on busy days, definitely worth coming down to the back and starting your day because yeah, these attractions don't get as busy on the morning. <laughs> Wait about 15 minutes and here we go. So yeah, it's a trackless dart ride, manufactured by ETF Ride Systems and also Sally Dart Rides. Let's go. So much steaming in here. that really doesn't need to be an interactive dart ride. There's so much just to see. I'm looking, I don't even like shooting on this. I like just taking it all in. Wow. Yeah, a pretty good score there. Tutankhamun. 
That is a really enjoyable dark ride. It blew me away first time I did it. And still to this day, I think it's really impressive. The theming in there is brilliant. There is just so much going on. And sometimes when you're hitting the symbols, they will move, which is brilliant. Yeah, lots of animatronics in there. Great lighting, the soundtrack. And yeah, overall, it's just a really good, well-themed experience. You don't even need to shoot on there to enjoy it. And uh, yeah, because of the collective effort of uh, all the group on our vehicle, we got the bonus scenes at the end. Well, I got nearly 40,000 points. So I had a <laughs> contribution to that scene. <laughs> the boys who were sat behind us are really focused. I think that's why we got it. But yeah, normally you just go straight through and bypass that last scene. But today it was really good. I enjoyed that. Fantastic attraction. It's even got the fire effects as well. Up next then, we're about to make our way onto Pulsar. This is the park's 2016 Mac Rides Power Splash. And it's very clever this, because it launches you up the towers. And then right now, that's filling up with water at the bottom. So this time when the boat passes through, it'll create a massive wave. Oh, look at that. Yeah, it's really clever. So of course, you come through it a couple of times, but yeah, the water all kind of piles in that last time when it goes up to the top. Fascinating. This was actually closed last time we were at this park. So we've not been on this since 2019. I've only been on it once and I don't remember it at all. But that splash then was revolting. <laughs> I've never seen anything like it. This is a good ride. I really like it. Yeah, look at it now, pumping all the water out of that middle section. Very clever how it works, this. Let's go and join the queue. It's advertised at 20. Oh, there it goes up the tower at this end. Yeah, it's gone down to 15 minutes now by the time we walk around to it. Not bad at all. Let's go and join the queue. Yeah, it's got a soundtrack by I'm a school this one. Some really good theming. Been waiting about 10 minutes so far and here we are in the station area. What's great about this is the throughput. Mac rides really think about that with the rides. Look at this. It's got two boats and a turntable. As far as one's going round, the other one can be loaded up. Yeah, 20 riders per boat as well. Top speed on this is 62 miles an hour. It's a fast ride, this is. I'm really pleased we're getting on it again. We shot last time, and yeah, it was quite good, actually. So you know me, I love Mac Ride. I just think this is a great design. Like, more rides uh, that have got a shuttle layout need a design like this. That one's off, and these guys are getting off. Like, fantastic, really good. And they'll be all loaded up and ready to go again. Here we go on the turntable. These operations are cracking today, less than a 15 minute wait. Really good. We're down here on row four. And from what I remember from past experience, I think you get a bit wetter further back. So we'll see how we go. Here on Pulsar. Are you ready, Charlotte? No. Poncho's on as well. <laughs> Let's go. Nice launch. Woo! Backwards. Up the tower. Hey, see, look at it. It's not got water in there now. Very clever. So we're not going to get wet this time. Here we go. Whoa! Woo! Wow, this is the prototype as well. A few of these out there now. Whoa, air time. Now it's going to fill the water. Oh, the force there. Here we go. It's coming. Oh, I didn't get too wet. He says, yeah. <laughs> it's a bit more than a light sprinkle, but it's not too much. That was really good. Are you okay? I didn't look at the water splash and my eyes covered. <laughs> that was good. I enjoyed that a lot. The thing is, to be straight, actually covers you up quite a bit. Down here. It's comfortable. Yeah, it's obviously getting soaked. I really enjoyed getting back on Pulsar. Good thing it was closed last time, so it was really nice to get back on it. It's a really good ride. In fact, it's one of my favorite water rides anywhere in the world. I think the capacity of it's great and the turntable. In fact, you can do about 9.50 an hour is really good. 
And then the ride experience is great. The airtime hill is fantastic. The launch is really quite intense. And also my favorite part of the entire ride is actually going up the spike backwards um, because you get a lot of falls. Kind of reminds me a little bit of the feeling you get on Superman um, over at Six Flags Magic Mountain. Really good ride that. Enjoy getting back on it. And you're not too wet, are you, Charlotte? No, I'm not too bad, which I'm quite surprised about. <laughs> yeah, I think it's a really good ride. I love one of those back home. I think it's great. So as that previous clip, we were walking down the pathway just here thinking, oh, we didn't really get that wet on the ride. What just happened to us? We was walking down here. We stood there. There's that tiny little <laughs> sign that tells you that you're going to get wet. A wave came over. It was like, a, oh, I can't believe it. Look at my trousers. <laughs> it was like a tiny wave, on it? My shoe, my oh. foot is squelching. It's like my foot's been in a river. Even the poncho didn't <laughs> save me. It came it right, so right over us. I completely forgotten that walking down here, this is the bit where you get wet. I thought it was just on that platform that sticks out. Walking down here, wave comes over, and we're dripping wet through I was now. Terrified! All I saw was this massive wave <laughs> coming towards us. You gotta laugh about it. I mean, at least we're not cold and horrible, oh, but yeah, it is. Hopefully, we dry out a bit. I don't it's know. Not sure yeah. at all. I need to get some <laughs> tissue paper. Oh. Look. We didn't even get that wet on the ride. Oh, oh, look. look at your socks as well. Oh. Pulsar, everybody! <laughs> Beware if you're walking down this path. You may get wet or completely soaked. <laughs> oh, that is crazy. This is the brunt of what we got. I thought it was just over there and it came right over here onto this path. I can't believe that happened to us, but we just made our way back to the car. And luckily, you've got some nice shoes on, haven't you now? These shoes have got no tread on <laughs> at all. They're disgusting, but I haven't got a walk around with wet feet. They are dry, and I've managed to change my jeans as well. I've still got my wet shoes on, but I've got some nice fresh socks on, so the feet are a bit drier. Even and we're all right, we've got some chips now, so fantastic. Right, we're going to make our way go on to Vampire, which is the park's suspended looping coaster. Yeah, we're going to take you on here, 25 minute advertised wait. Yeah, it's slippy for everyone in here. Sheena's nearly went as well. I've got no tread on this. Oh, shoes. be careful, do you want an hand? Yeah. After today, these are getting bent. Yeah, she's <laughs> been saying that for months. Love the soundtrack for Vampire here at Wallaby Belgium. And yeah, weather seems to be picking up now as well, which I'm pleased about. Let's go and join the queue. Well, we actually only waited 10 minutes there for our ride here on Vampire. I'm quite pleased about that, to be honest, especially with it being an SLC. As we make our way up the lift hill just here. Yeah, sort of a mid-train ride. Let's see how this is gonna ride today. Yeah, the rain seems to have stopped now, which is good. And yeah, it seemed really busy when we came in, but I think a lot of people started here at Vampire. This was advertised at 70 when we came in. That's why we thought, oh, we're gonna be in for a really busy day. But because of its location down at the entrance of the park, it seems like a lot of people came here first. So really, crowds are spread out all right now. It's not actually too busy. A lot of the major rides are on half an hour, which is pretty good, especially for a Halloween event, till 10 o'clock. Here we go. Vampire. Woo! Too bad yet. It wasn't too bad that. I mean, granted, it's still like the weakest coaster in the park. But still, yeah, it was all right that. Yeah, okay. That wasn't too bad. I think it's because you've got the cushion in here. Yeah. Which sort of helps your head. It was all right that was. Yeah, compared to Condor at Wallaby Holland, oh, that was pretty good. <laughs> Well, that ride down Vampire was tolerable, I'd say. It wasn't too bad, because you've got the cushion either side. It sort of braced you. I wouldn't say I enjoyed it. I wouldn't <laughs> go that far. But yeah, it was all right, wasn't it? It that? was okay. <laughs> and we only waited 10 minutes. And you know, next we've got a 35 minute wait for the park's 2001 for Coma Wooden Coaster, Loop Garou, or as it means in English, Werewolf. Yeah, let's go and join the queue for a nice woody. <laughs> And we've waited about 30 minutes there for our ride here on Loop Garou. Let's see how this rides. Vacoma Woody. And the sun's come out again now. We 
which I am pleased about. And yeah, of course, we're looking forward to some scare mazes. They've got four main scare mazes here at the events. Yeah, we're going to be experiencing those. We're looking forward to it. Three of them are paid and one of them's free. Have I got that right there, didn't I, yeah, Charlotte? Yeah, I believe so, yeah. Yeah, we're looking forward to it. Along with that, it's very scare zones. Yeah, we're looking forward to it. Climb up the lift hill down here at the front as well. This is very classic wooden coaster, isn't it? Having this on the front. Before we used to have like the fancy zero cars and stuff like Wicker Man and that sort of thing now. It's not the best woody, this one. <laughs> they are expanding the water park over there though. Aqua Wallaby. Loads of new slides going in. Yeah, big new slide tower. Look at that water. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, the bone shaker. <laughs> Shaking side to side, this. <laughs> oh. 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 Feel that train juddering. <laughs> Gave me a headache, that has. Oh God, what was that? <laughs> oh, oh, God. God. oh, that was really bad. That was worse than I remember that. Oh, ow. Oh, what just happened over the past couple of minutes there, Charlotte? That was so shaky. It was unbelievable. I mean, I've said this in the past. They really need to get another company in to retrack it or replace it with something. Either GCI coming in doing a retrack. Maybe even Gravity Group could improve that. Um, yeah, something ideally an RMC. Like that would make a great Rocky Mountain construction coaster. You put your roof profile it, uh, and yeah, it would be great. But I tell you what, that was awful. I've wasn't literally it? like I've been chucked into a washing machine and chucked <laughs> side to side. I have got a headache from that now. Like, it was the train just going side to side uh, all the way around. It was really uncomfortable. That was somebody call up RMC. It was riding like a shopping trolley. And yeah, it seems like some of the scare zones. That's the open in the afternoon as you can see here i mean the mazes have just opened at three o'clock yeah scares and i think it said five didn't it on the map yeah i think they have a family halloween event in the day so i think this might be the family one ah i see but yeah this looks quite a good setup around here loads of theming got the waist swinger over there as well yeah look forward to seeing this in the dark now of course over the past few years wallaby belgium have continued to invest in the park with lots of new attractions 2021 was conda and that whole area at the back of the park prize for that was Tiki Waka and yeah for this year they're putting this lovely new theme flat ride look at all the smoke from from each of the vehicles as well there's a few of these out there uh, we out one at Trips Drill uh, Liseberg I've got one in Sweden and so yeah these rides are great and I'd say this is probably the best themed one that I've ever seen it's got this lovely building at the back it's got that bit of a wild westy steampunk feel to it I just think it's a really nice addition these parks in mainland Europe do a really good job of flat rides instead of just putting in the flat itself they turn it into a full themed experience yeah this is really nice I love the direction the Wallaby Belgium is going the theme in here yeah it's incredible it's really well done look at the entrance to the ride as well really well themed fantastic and yeah it's called Silverton and yeah you got all the nice planting down here as well fantastic yeah really impressed with that lots of theming down the queue line what a really nice overall package for a flat ride and you got buzzsaw just over here yeah they got quite a few flat rides at this park including a nice classic Plus top spin and lots of Halloween decor as well. I like the pumpkin display, it's yeah, very it's nice. Lovely, isn't it, that? Yeah, all these Wild West buildings that they've got down here. Yeah, I mean, the theming of this park is great. It just keeps getting better with all the new additions, which is really good to see. Let's look at Dalton Terror, the Intamin Drop Tower. Yeah, definitely have a ride on that. But I think first we're going to make our way around to Calamity Mine, which is the Vacoma Mine train, advertised on 15. Yeah, the park feels busy, but the queues are not too bad. It's like Dalton Terra 15 as well. Operations are just really good. Like, they're mandling the crowds really well. Like, really good. Very impressed. Here's all the theming down at the bottom for Calamity Mine. Opened in 1992. 
is the entrance to the queue line. And this is another one of the parks that was featured in Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. So you may recognize a lot of this park and some of the rides like Calamity Mine were featured in the game released in the early 2000s. Big RCT fan. So yeah, if you're wondering, oh, that looks familiar, that's why. <laughs> We're in at least three trains there, very impressed. Very well theme ride, yeah. Comment down below if you remember playing Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, or maybe you still do now. And yeah, I remember seeing this ride in there. Great ride. Love a good family mind train coaster. And we've got a dispatch. Nice water feature there as we make our way up. I like how we're getting up this lift hill. And they're already midway through the ride going up that one. Quite right, nice little feature that. Are you ready, Charlotte? I'm ready. We waited like what, less than 10 minutes there? Really good ops for that. Oh, fantastic. What a classic this. Condor again off to the right, very impressive. And yeah, when they built Condor in 2021, you know, it was a full expansion for the park. You know, there was nothing in that park before. <laughs> Try that, <I'm> not. Fantastic, that really enjoyable family roller coaster. I think you've Dalton Terror a go next. Right there, into being drop tower. Really good ride, and the weather's cleared up for us as well. Lovely. Oh, I really enjoyed that. I think Calamity Mine is one of the best family mine trains out there, actually. That was really good fun. I like how you go up the lift at the same time. Yeah, it's good, that is. And operations on there, incredible as well. And talking of fast stops, the drop tower, I can't believe how fast it was loaded that up. Uh, not been on it yet, but we were just on the brake run coming in. And yeah, it took them about 30 seconds and that was off again. Amazing ops today. No wonder it's only on 15 minutes. Let's go on. And just like that, it's going up again. Oh, fantastic. Really impressed here today at Wallaby Belgium. And yeah, looking forward to our first scare maze that's going to be coming up shortly. And yeah, we'll talk about the prices and the different attractions and take a look at the map in just a moment. Yeah, let's go and ride. 10 minutes. In all the years I've been riding these Interbin drop towers, I have never seen one operated as well as this before. Like, it literally was ready to go before the catch car had even come back down. Amazing. <laughs> just me on this one. Great view of Calamity Mine. It's quite a nice evening now for some scare mazes. Ready for the spooks tonight? Yes, there are quite a lot of expansion room here when you look round. As you wait here now to drop down. Here we go! Woo! Oh, that was great, really forceful. Look at this. <laughs> no messing. 
Some awesome views there from on Dalton Tower. And yeah, great drop tower. I mean, you can't go wrong with an intermittent giant drop. They are really enjoyable rides. And yeah, the operations on there, brilliant. Everything we've seen today, operation-wise, has been fantastic. So big well done to all the teams here at Wallaby Belgium. But yeah, we're gonna have a look at the map now and we'll uh, show you the Halloween offering. Right then, here's a look at the Halloween offering. And yeah, you've got the haunted houses, scare zones, and experiences. Uh, in terms of experiences down there, the Freaks, which is a live show, and Freaky Pizza Festival, uh, which is basically a pizza restaurant for Halloween. You've got the scare zones, where there's five. Um, yeah, Psycho Circus was open from 12 o'clock. We saw that earlier, but we'll see that again later when it gets dark. And you've also got Rebellion Land, Gas Leak, um, Doomed Ruins, and Mandu as well. So we'll check out those later on. And in terms of haunted houses, you've got three that are paid for um, you know, you've got uh, Nagalai you've got the Curse of I Amon and also Pandemonium so yeah we've paid for those three uh, those two are eight euros and you've got the nine euros one there you've got Mind Blast which is free um, so we'll definitely check that out as well and you've also got Dracula 4D which is just uh, the 4D cinema so yeah really there's four scare mazes uh, that you've got just there and we're going to start off now with our first one which is Nag Nagulai is that how I pronounce I it? I do not know how to pronounce <laughs> that Nagulai it's located down here by Cobra and also Popcorn Revenge is down this way as well 15 minute wait for the boomerang yeah have a go on that after but yeah the maze is just down here we won't be able to film inside However, we'll talk all about it when we come out. Right then, so we've just come out of our first scare maze here at Wallaby Belgium. And I've got to say, that was definitely worth the eight euros we paid for it. It was really long, it was packed full of actors, and it was very heavily themed. Kind of had like an Indian theme, didn't it? I was so scared in there. I was at the front. It was very disorientating because it was so dark. I didn't know where I was going. And it was coming at me from all angles. I was terrified. <laughs> I do think it was a little bit too dark in some of the scenes in there. But from what I could see, the theming was really good. Would have been nice if you could have seen it a bit more. You know, had a little bit more lighting in there. Um, there were some really big scale set pieces in there and a lot of the corridors uh, and kind of areas you were walking around were really tight as well there was all branches there was this big chair with a turn around in the middle that was a really good scene but in some sections it was just so dark we could not see anything <laughs> it was very creepy though like some of the best scares i've had this halloween in there i did really enjoy it and uh, yeah that gives me a lot of excitement to see the other scare mages here at wallaby belgium but yeah it was really good the general kind of theme and aesthetic of it fitting really well with this area of the park as well. Like you look at this out here with all the building style, it was pretty much like walking through all of this, but in the dark with a lot of scenes. And there was a massive finale scene as well that was huge, uh, like with all these different faces and figures coming towards us. Yeah, it was very high budget, a uh, really high quality attraction. Anyway, we'll go on the dark ride now, a bit more of a happy theme after that. And it's time for Popcorn Revenge just there. And actually, just to add to our experience, we didn't have to wait at all. We walked straight in, and it was just me and Charlotte that went through, which made it even more terrifying. All right, let's go. Popcorn Revenge. Interactive dark ride. And here we go. Wait about 10 minutes. We've got our candy dispensers. And here we go. Trackless interactive. Another one. <laughs> we got two in the same park. A lot more screen focus, this one. Here's the new route of the two. That's popcorn down there. There he is. Oh no. Evil popcorn. Yeah, you got this main kind of room and then you go into all the different screens. Cinema screen. 
sideways into the next one. Oh, that was a bit of an abrupt stop. <laughs> footage there from Popcorn Revenge. Did you enjoy that? I really enjoy that. What's good about that is the guns are quite small and not too heavy to use and I got over 200,000. Oh, you did well there, Charlotte. The screen quality on there is great and there's just so much going on. Yeah, I wish there was a little bit more theming around, but it is a nice ride. I really like it. Yeah, especially when you don't wait too long for it. Yeah, about 10 minutes or so, which is fantastic. Yeah, when we came into the park earlier, we thought it was going to be really busy. Yeah, not too bad at all. Advertised 25 for Cobra. Yeah, it certainly doesn't look too busy. So yeah, we'll uh, go on this now for Coma uh, Boomerang just here. And here we go then, climbing up on Cobra. We're down here near the back of the train, so we're certainly in for a more intense ride experience. And yeah, as you mentioned earlier on, they're currently expanding Aqua Wallaby, the water park, just over here. And yeah, you can see a lot of work. At the water park, this used to be one of the small buildings here. Looks like they've built another one and expanded it. They're redoing the roof on there too, by the looks of it. And yeah, you've got the new complex over here with all the slides on. So yeah, big expansion of the water park, which is good to see. We only wait about 10 minutes. It was advertised 25. What a cracking view over the park. You never see a lot in a pair of V on these and further back, just the back of the seat. Uh, <laughs> here we go, ready for it backwards, Charlotte? No, <laughs> I wasn't ready for it forward. Oh no, here we go. Oh, on the GoPro, but it was very smooth, but it was really intense they are. Oh, that wasn't smooth. <laughs> well, we just did our ride over there on Cobra, the parks for Coma Boomerang. Did you enjoy that? I'm not a fan of those coasters whatsoever, but I gave it a go. <laughs> <laughs> you went on. And yeah, it wasn't the best POV, that one with us being sat a little bit further back and having the seat in front, oh, but you get the idea. I mean, those are cloned coasters all across the world. I tell you what, isn't clone though. Tiki Waka just here, back down in exotic world. And yeah, we're going to get a ride on here now, the park's 2018 Gerslau bobsled coaster. We've got another scare maze coming up shortly after. Yeah, I really like this. I think the layout is really good fun over this part of the park. And you've actually got like a little adventure trail called the Tiki Trail that interacts with the coaster as well over the top, which is very nice. Love all the landscaping around in this part of the park as well. It is the exotic world after all. And yeah, it's the 35 minute wait for Tiki Waka. Let's go. Oh, look at Condor over there. Very excited for me night ride on there later. I'm sure you're fed up with saying it by now, but these ops today are phenomenal. We waited 25 minutes and it was a big queue. You know, there's a lot of people in there. But yeah, it moved very fast. Shouting down for twos, getting people on nice and quick. And that's what you want from a theme park. Very impressed with Wallaby Belgium here today. And yeah, here we are going up the lift hill on Tiki Waka. Oh, look at that now. Beautiful weather. Honda just over there. We got some great views looking out over the park. Here we go, he's got some funky drops and transitions there. Hey! Woo! Hey! <laughs> I like how he goes over the water down here as well. Oh! Hey! Over the path! Woo! Such a good fun coaster, this. Hey! Oh, I really like that. 
weather is great fun lots of theming and all over the water as well really good attraction that is Oh, that was a really good, fun front row ride there on Tiki Waka. That is so much fun. I really like that coaster. I love the helix at the end when you go around the water. Oh, and yeah, the theme is really good on there as well. All the little drops. It was great fun rides, Gerstar Bob says. And yeah, I'd say this is one of my favourites, actually. I love all the quirky drops and transitions. The moans have been pushed into the corners as well. And yes, yeah, overall, I think it's a really nice ride in at this great themed area. And we're making our way now down to our next scare maze that we're going to be experiencing. And yeah, this one is circus theme, we believe. It's called Pandemonium. It is. I'm looking forward to giving it a go. Yeah, we'll see what this is going to be like. Look at this Halloween theming. That is great down here. It's going to into Psycho Circus, the scare zone. And yeah, this is where Pandemonium, the maze, is located. Nine euros we paid for Pandemonium. Oh, here's the ringmaster. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's got a little music box down here. Oh, chainsaw. <laughs> busy down here in the sky zone. As in the past, busy, but it's so well operated. Look at all the theming. Oh, look at them all trapped behind the cage over here. Oh, no. Oh, hello. <laughs> yeah, it seems like what they've actually done is all the scary, creepy clowns have locked away all the happy ones from the family wall we threw earlier. Quite a cool concept. Loads of actors, lots of props. And here's the entrance to Pandemonium. Yeah, we won't be able to film inside this, so we'll see you when we come out and we'll talk about our experience. Brilliant. So we just come out of Pandemonium. The good thing is we didn't wait at all. We got straight in. And yeah, the bad news is we should have done it in the dark because yeah, it was mostly outside that one. Some of the theming in there was really good, but it lacked a proper ending. Yeah, it did. I mean, you had all these caravans. It was kind of like the circus is closed. Um, you're going backstage. And yeah, there was a few nice scenes around, a few props. Oh uh, yeah, nothing spectacular, that one. Uh, and even the group who were with us, normally people were quite scared of clowns. You saw that walking through the scare zone just. Um, but yeah, it didn't really quite hit it. I think with that one, it needs to be done at night. Night. but still we saw it it was something a bit different and i did quite like all the masks in there the as well the masks was great and they were very creepy yeah it was but uh, yeah if you come to the event do it at night continuing on then with our evening now here at wallaby belgium and yeah you've got Raja river which is the rapids just over here and yeah we're not gonna go on the rapids tonight now it's gone quite chilly and also my feet are still soaking wet from the earlier incident the hand by Pulsar. <laughs> we have a look at the rapids. Big boats on there, aren't they? But we're not going on them! Hey! Yay! Also, we won't do the log flume either. Yay! Hey! It's a bit nippy tonight, isn't it? I mean, I'm not too bad. These are completely dry now. Oh. But I haven't got any socks on, so my feet are going to get cold. <laughs> yeah, well, my shoes are still soaked <laughs> from the uh, earlier incident. There's Pulsar, and there's the pathway where it all happens. <laughs> <laughs> down here into fun world now yeah the little junior coaster there fun pilot quite a nice little ride and also off to the left you've actually got a vacoma madhouse in that building over there five minute wait so we'll give that a go and fun pilot let's walk on as well good fun little coaster a bit, little bit like farmyard flyer back at Paulton's park so the madhouse is called palace de genie we start off in this lovely building which is very nice and warm. Definitely one of the weaker madhouses, that in my opinion. The pre-show is quite drawn out. And also when you get on the ride, um, there's all dialogue over the soundtrack. And yeah, I'm just not a huge fan of it. I do like uh, madhouses, but yeah, it's probably my least favorite one or one of my least favorites. The one at Fantasyland isn't great either. Uh, but so we've come off and yeah, we're going on Fun Pilot now. Nice little family coaster just there. So yeah, we'll take you on this five minute wait. Let's walk on though. And here we go, Fun Pilot. Yeah, that's the thing with this part, they just keep regenerating it, they keep putting in new additions, retheming all the parts of it. And yeah, I really do like the direction they've took here over the past kind of what, five years? They had a development plan and they're stuck by it, and I really appreciate that. 
Here we go. Got one more coaster left then. That's Psych Underground. Whee! Nice drop down by the water. Whee! There's a two lap special this one as well. Yeah, they are actually going to be building a new family coaster at some point in the future. It's going to interact with the log flume. And yeah, that whole area by the flume, flashback, Psych Underground. It's going to be all rethemed and updated. It's going to be more industrial by the sounds of it. And yeah, they're going to bring in a new family coaster around there. Quite a long layout. So yeah, I look forward to seeing that when it opens in the future. Whee! Nice little ride. Got a great balance at this park. Oh, nice little junior coaster. Yeah, making our way onto our final coaster to ride here at the park. It's Psych Underground. Just a bit of dancing from Charlotte tonight. I've got cold feet, I have. Oh, well, I haven't got any socks. <laughs> so, yeah, this is an old Schwarzkopf shuttle loop. However, it got converted by Gerslauer. And so, yeah, you can see some of the old mechanism actually just down here. There it is. Some of the original Schwarzkopf flywheel launch just there. Yeah, it's how it sends now. And it's indoors. And really, this is the area of the park now that does look out of place compared to all the nicely themed areas. And yeah, this is going to be changing at some point in the future. So we'll see what happens to the theme. But uh, as you can see, not much going on in this queue line, but it has got a great soundtrack. Let's go. Psych Underground. Love the station in here. Here it comes. Wait about 15 minutes as advertised. That's going right. Thank you, Underground. <laughs> Here we go. those rides that the camera really doesn't do it justice and yeah it's all indoors I believe back in the day they had some issues with noise complaints and yeah they first enclosed the loop and then when they did the refurbishment in 2013 enclosed the rest of the ride but yeah I think it's really good fun that did you enjoy it? I really enjoy that it's quite forceful isn't it? Oh it is the loop is really intense yeah, actually like yeah great ride look how atmospheric the lake looks just here. Making our way into a scare zone, aren't we now? We are, so this scare zone is called Doomed Ruins. Yeah, let's go and check it out. Oh, look at this prop down here. Oh, this is really cool with the laser. And yeah, our scare maze is here as well that we're doing now. This is our third and final paid maze to check out. The Curse of Armin just here. And yeah, we'll have more of a stroll through the scare zone when we come out. Well, we waited about 10 minutes there for the maze. It was very heavily themed and it was located right next door to Tutankhamun. So it kind of had that feel, didn't it? Yeah, it was like we was going through a museum. The theming in there was excellent. Yeah, the costumes were really good as well. It had a good length to it. And yeah, there was a lot of details to look at and some good jump scares. The ending though wasn't the best, was it? No, I wasn't a massive fan. It was like a laser room, which was great, but it was just going in and out of small rooms with just one actor in there. Yeah, there wasn't really much going <laughs> no. on at the end. However, yeah, it had a really good feel about it. It's kind of like you're walking through this museum and everything to kind of come alive you know it was really well thought out and put together yeah i've enjoyed that uh i definitely enjoyed the first maze and that one the best uh with the circus maze uh being down there at the bottom yes yeah, continuing in this scare zone really good <laughs> love the laser i think there's a fire effect there as well it goes up every so often saw it when we're in the queue oh Oh no, he's picking up on the camera, he's dragging something along the floor just uh, what is it? Oh! Oh, he's going for <laughs> What is it? Like a carcass of some form. I love how that's just happened right in front of us. Yeah. <laughs> you hit me with that stick! <laughs> hey, good scare zone. 
Well, I've been looking forward to this all day. It's time for a night ride now on Conda. And what's awesome about this is there's hardly any lighting on it at all. I mean, you're looking at it here, and yet you can't even see the lift hill and the drop. Don't know how much you're going to see the POV, but you're going to hear my reactions on it. See, I'm really excited for this. Look at it. Oh, it's so dark. Oh, here we go. Leaving the station. <laughs> we decided to do single rider. We only waited about 15 minutes. It was all fantastic. Yeah, I don't think we're going to see much on here. <laughs> oh, nearly at the top of the lift hill. Look how dark it is. Here we go. Woo! I wanted a night ride on Condor for so long because I'd heard there was no lighting around and that certainly lived up to it. I ranked that coaster much higher when we first rode it back in 2021. I mean, how good was that, Charlotte? Oh, that was excellent. I had my arms up the whole way round. Oh, so much fun. And yeah, I know you can hardly see anything there in the GoPro footage. Oh, um, yeah, I hope that shows you just how dark that ride really was. Amazing. I'm freezing cold though now. On my little toes in these wet shoes. Oh, I can't wait to get them off. We're in the scare zone called Gas Leak here now. Oh, hello. I don't know what he's reading. Oh, he's got a very smiley face on there. Hello. <laughs> Protecting himself from the gas leak. <laughs> oh, he's not looking good. <laughs> This is where the free maze mind blast is just down here as well. Oh, look at the lion package right next door on Dalton Terra. Yeah, that looks awesome. Buzz saw a night just over there as well. Oh, it reminds me of the old Ripsaw days and me night rides on there. Plenty of rides at this park. And yeah, lots of flats as well, which are awesome. Got a great dance just over there. It's not too fast though, that one. Right down towards the circus. And we think this is another scare zone over here called Rebellion Land. So we're just gonna have a walk through. Got some chainsaws outside. Whoa, look at this down here, we got loads of fire. Oh blimey. This looks insane up here. It's like a massive hub area. Oh my god, I was not expecting this. Whoa! This is crazy in here. You got like a bar. Oh, this is nuts! I was not expecting this! Wow! Look at this! In a Bobby world! Life in plastic! It's fantastic! in there. What a setup and really simple with all the shipping containers. But it was so well done, wasn't it? That was so good. I loved it in there. I was hoping to see the fire a bit closer, but yeah, we were waiting about for a bit and nothing else was happening. Oh, uh, it's so good in there. Plus, I'd be able to do some BMX stunt riding at times as well. Yeah, what a great setup. As it comes towards the end of the night, yeah, while it'll be Belgium for Halloween. Loads of chainsaws there, so if you're a big lover of them, get yourself here. Oh! Oh no, she's down. <laughs> oh no, she's all right. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, this scare zone and the area we just did are definitely the highlights of the event for me. Got a great carnival feel down here. Even all the lights on the way swinger next door, all the springs it together really well. And just before we end our night here at Wallaby Belgium, we've got time to check out Mandu, which is the final scare zone for us to see. 
over here by Cobra. Very atmospheric. Look at the lighting package and all the smoke. It's what makes you realise we've got a long way to go back now when it comes to atmosphere like this around the park. All the smoke looks incredible. <laughs> oh. Hello. Hi. Hi. I think you've got something wrong with your uh, face there. You got a few scars. Oh, it's normal. <laughs> yeah. What a vibe. And just before we wrap up the vlog, here's a look at Luke Garou, the werewolf. All lit up at night. Oh, so atmospheric. Well, that brings us to the end of our visits here to Wallaby, Belgium for their Halloween event. And we've had an excellent day, haven't we, Charlotte? We have got on so many rides, which I'm surprised about today. I was expecting it to be so busy. When we parked up and walked into the park, it felt very busy this morning. We saw Vampire on 70 and we thought, here we go, it could be a really fun day. However, we managed to get loads of rides in, mainly because the operations have been incredible, haven't they, today? I have never seen Op so good. So Team Wallaby Belgium, you're doing a great job. Like, genuinely, some of the best operations I've ever seen in all the years I've been visiting theme parks. And you know me, I always talk about Ops, but they're doing a really good job here today. Um, so yeah, credit's where credit is due. Uh, it's been fantastic. We've got loads of rides in, we've done the nine coasters. Uh, we had that soaking from Pulsar earlier. I can't believe that, but I am dry. <laughs> oh, my feet are so oh. cold still. I can't wait to take these off. Oh, you know what, we've had a really good day. I really like the ride selection here. And the fact that Conda uh, has now gone higher over my rankings. That coaster was riding amazing, wasn't oh, it? Oh, that was riding fantastic. So glad we got it nice. Yeah, and lots of on-ride POVs today as well. We didn't do the other two water rides because, yeah, we were just so cold from earlier on. Charlie got away with them Yay! today. Um, but there's some really nice flat rides here. The new edition's great. And uh, overall, I look forward to seeing what they do in the future with the new family coaster. It's a really well-themed park here. I like the vibe of it a lot, especially with it being well-operated. And then we move on to the Halloween event. Very much enjoyed seeing that too. The park in the dark's very atmospheric. The scare zones are great. I mean, that we saw just was great, wasn't it? Oh, that was so good in there. But we didn't get to see the fire again. Oh, we saw it from the distance there with the big kind of fireballs. That was great. And the circus scare zone was the best as well. Definitely. The others didn't really have lots of theming, but they had some good costumes and uh, actors around. And the maze that we did, two of them were great. One of them was quite poor. However, uh, overall, it's a great event and it's certainly one I come back to in the future. When you come to a park like this at Halloween, you get the full package. You know, we've had the mazes, we've had the rides in the dark, we've had the entertainment. It's been a really good day. And uh, thanks for joining us here on Theme Park World wide next vlog coming up from our final halloween event of the trip and that is bobby and land also here in belgium but well, that leaves us with one final thing to say get out there and keep on riding see you in the next vlog <laughs>